All right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, today, we got a couple of new parts that have come in from uh, import image racing. Um, so what I'm gonna start with today is gonna be tint for this clear uh, backup and uh, turn signal cover. These actually come from a sticker fab. They look pretty quality. This is just their standard dark tint. I didn't get any of the uh, textured or anything like that. A couple things that we're going to need, obviously, the stickers. Good, clean microfiber towel and some soapy water. This is soapy water. It is in a high degrease bottle, but uh, uh, I cleaned this out earlier and just put just uh, mainly water. A couple drops of soap, shake it up, should be good to go. And you're also going to need either a, a hair dryer, or in my case, I have a, a heat gun, and that'll kind of help work all the water and hair pockets out of uh, out of these. So first things first, we want to make sure we kind of spritz with the uh, soapy water and, and just kind of clean this whole area off. Um, I tend to keep my car pretty clean. Today it's a little bit dusty. Make sure we clean this off good. You want a good clean surface. Uh, one thing, and I'll uh, I'll show this here in just a bit. One thing on these uh, <clears throat> these WRX lights is right here. There's just an ever so slight indent, like raised. I'm sorry, not an indent, but a raised little bump. So whenever you put this on, that should be the only. I guess imperfection that you would see is just that slight bump, but that's a factory bump. There's nothing we can do about that. So find the one that matches for this side, which is going to be this one. And we're going to do like a, a double watered or wet technique. So what we'll do, I'm going to get this label off or the sticker. I'm sorry. If I can get it to peel, there it goes. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and peel that edge, and then we've already spritzed and wiped it down just that way we made sure everything was clean. But we're gonna go ahead and spritz it again. I probably put just a smidge much there, but that's okay. And nice and easy, we're gonna try to apply this. Because I put so much on it, normally you'd want to spritz the back of this, but I did put a bit much on the actual tail light itself, so I'm not, I didn't spritz the back end of that. And that just allows you to slide this around. You'll see I should be able to move this pretty effortlessly. And we're going to line this up so it looks good and solid. That ought to do it there. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and take my microfiber towel and kind of just wipe the excess off from around. We don't need all that on there. Make sure that this is still good and centered. Looks good. And then we're going to, on low setting, we're just going to kind of go over this whole thing just ever so slightly moving all around. We don't want to sit on one spot too long. So we kind of heated it. I'm going to hold on to a corner here just so it stays kind of locked down. And I'm just going to ever so slightly rub Cross. We'll continue to heat this a little bit more, but just mainly to work out as many of these as we can. So there's going to be little ripples and bubbles at first. Pretty good. 
And like I said, right here, you should see just uh, the slightest little bubble in it. And like I said, that's, that's normal because there is that raised spot. We'll let that kind of cool down. And So this should give you the before and after. It looks a lot better. Let me show you. Uh, I'll take this out here. I'll show you what I mean by the little tiny indent. So you'll see right here, if I can catch in the reflection, there's that little bitty indent right there. There it is. And that's that's normal, like I said. So if you see that, then then you're okay. So we'll go ahead real quick, <clears throat> get this thrown back in here, and uh, I'm gonna come finish this other side. I might try to bring this up a little closer for for this next one. Thing. Just spray this repeat process. We're gonna spray it down, wipe the whole tail lot. We don't want any dust, debris, anything like that in there. <clears throat> you have to excuse me, I've got allergies right now are kicking up, so all right. Good clean tail lot. Go ahead and get that second sticker. I'll go ahead and peel one corner of it real quick. Well, they secured these on good. There it goes. All right. So we got the one corner peeled. It's pretty good. So I don't have to double it up. So the one that I bought <clears throat> from uh, Import Image Racing, I'll have to look at the, uh, the actual number specific, um, and I'll put a link. <clears throat> I'll put a link to it down in the uh, description because um, it's not in here. It's on my receipt, but <clears throat> I think it, mine is like the LX version because they sell two of the exact same, essentially dark smoked. But mine is, like I said, it's like an LX version or whatever. I'll put it down in the description. And it's supposed to, they have on, they have on the description from Sticker Lab, it's supposed to, uh, or Sticker Fab, I'm sorry, that it's supposed to help with releasing of uh, air underneath as it cures. So that's what I wound up going with. I think it was like an extra dollar or something like that, more per sticker. It was next to nothing. And I thought, you know, for an extra dollar and the peace of mind, mine as well. But, uh, just about got it. Look it over from different angles so you can catch sunlight. And that way you can make sure you have all the bubbles out. But there we go. And uh, And there we have it, completely finished. It looked good. You can see it was a little dusty. That's why we cleaned the tail light off really well. But they look really good. And on this side, you'll see the same dimple. That looks a lot, a lot better. 
know there's gonna be a lot of people that says, oh, that looks just like a Civic or whatever, but you know, whatever. To each their own, I think it looks great. All right, so moving along now to uh, the rain guards. Um, I ordered, again from Import Image Racing, uh, I ordered specifically uh, through a company called OLM and they sell multiple uh, models on import image racing uh, but I found OLM on another site and I really like the style of this they're very simple uh, they didn't have any extra additional lines or anything like that which I liked I just want pretty simple and clean and so I reached out to the guys at uh, import image racing and I said hey you know I know you sell uh, OLM but I don't see these for the 22 WRX yet and you know no problem hey man if that's what you want we'll we'll get it to you no problem and they took care of me real fast so that was a plus definitely hit them up for uh, anything that you need as far as products um, like I said they they easily took care of me on this even though they didn't have it so that's always a plus so I'm gonna show you the way that uh, I like to put these on uh, they have you know the 3m adhesive tape all the way around and then where it's notched here to fit the window frames it does have like a little pad of cushing, which is nice. It kind of just keeps you from tearing things up. Same thing here on the front where it drops down here on that front end. So on this one, I'm going to take this bottom corner off just because this is really tiny segment. So we'll go ahead and take that entire one off. Okay. Um, and on this side, we're going to get just this bottom corner here. Goodness. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna peel just the slightest little tab up, okay? And what this is gonna allow us to do is to press this one corner in, and it kind of locks this down, but it still gives us freedom to kind of move if we need to move anything else. So same thing on this end, uh, I'm gonna go ahead we've already started here so I don't need to pull this side so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this corner tab here as well okay so that little tiny corner tab I'm gonna pull it up just so it gives us a little wing to hold on to and then from the exact same corner I'm gonna pull a tab down a wing to tap down and so it should kind of look like that when you get done a wing up and then a wing down this direction okay and then that way we can touch this corner and lock it down and then we have this side that we can lock down <clears throat> so we're gonna take line this top corner up to where everything looks pretty good you may want to make these tabs just a little bit bigger or fold them really tight okay before we do that I, I kind of already dry fit everything before uh, just to make sure that it looks good but you can do that if you want at that time but before you lock it down you want to use some isopropyl alcohol uh, I have 91% just some equate you get this at Walmart or whatever and some like cotton swab okay and you want to make sure that we clean this mating area the surface area really good okay because once we once we put this on we don't ever want these to come off especially running down the road one of these things flies off it's gonna mar the heck out of your car and we don't want that so that wet one we're gonna put over there I'm gonna come back because you can see it's kind of running down I'm gonna come back with a dry one and just really scrub this area down and then it'll evaporate right here in front of you just make sure we clean this surface off really really well this is the biggest, this is just like painting a car, the biggest, the biggest step is always going to be prep. Spend a little bit of extra time prepping and it will pay off in the end. So we've got both of those, one, one wet, one dry. We'll set the rest over there to save for later. So we're gonna come back now with our tabs that we pulled. Make sure those are out really well. Okay, this one's out down here, same thing. 
All right, we're gonna start at this top corner. And I'm gonna try to line it up pretty close with the edge of the door. So now we've kind of pressed that down and then we're gonna go down to this other end. And then we're gonna, same thing, kind of line it up really close. It ain't gotta be 100% perfect, but you know, you're a perfectionist like most of us are. Okay, and then we'll kind of press that on. And then you see it's, it's held. If I needed to, I could pull it off. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna grab these little tabs that we pulled, and then we can just slowly pull these out, just like that. And out it comes. We'll just lightly press. We're not gonna hard press right now because we need to get the rest of these out. So that little one there come off. So that's the rest of that whole top side there. But again, we're not gonna press that down just yet. We press this corner, that's gonna hold enough. And then we'll come down here to this end. And then we're gonna pull this out. Now this is where you can make any last fine adjustments if you want, as far as this being up or down. So I'm gonna kind of move it just a little bit and then press, okay? And then now this is where you're gonna to wanna to press pretty hard. We're gonna to wanna to lock this down. And just walk through with your thumbs, just smash it down all around, okay? for our front <clears throat> and then we're going to do the same thing here on the rear i'm going to go ahead before i start pulling those tabs i'm going to use this damp that we had earlier you can see it's still it's still damp so it's still got plenty of alcohol on it to clean this surface off so we'll wipe all this down all the way back just hit all these surfaces Just a second to kind of dry out. While that's drying, we're going to pull this one corner. There we go. Create that wing on that bottom side. And same thing, we're going to make the wings on the top side. So we got these corners folded out here on the top and then a wing down here at the bottom. <clears throat> We're going to do our best here to line everything up as good as we can with the other one, kind of the exact same height and spacing. That way it looks really good. Okay, so we can press that one corner just so it locks that corner in. And we're going to come all the way down to this other end. And then we're gonna line it up so it looks pretty good here. Perfect. Okay, so it locks that down. Now let's go back to the top. Pull all of our tabs here at the top. Okay, and we're gonna kind of press that lightly. This looks pretty good right there. There we go. Out those come. A little fine adjustment if we need. And then here we're gonna walk double thumb. Just walk the whole mating surface area. That way we get good pressure across on that 3M tape so it locks everything down. And there you go. Looks really good and this is why i opted for the olms there's no like crazy lines or anything it just nice smooth crisp lines that come up like they should doesn't bow out anywhere it looks really nice and clean kind of step back here and looks good
And we're just gonna repeat the exact same process on the other side. All right, with the uh, magic of television, um, I got this other side on complete now. As you can see, I, I did uh, uh, have the windows tinted on the car. So I did 20% on all sides, and then I had a brow put on it at five. But you can see the visors. Look nice and clean. And we come around to the back where we got our tail lights freshly tinted. Looking good. And on the other side, done back glass. So there's a quick view for 20%. You still can see through it. Um, part of me wishes I would have went a little darker, but we get into that whole legal illegal, which around here is not too awful big deal for me. But but that's it. And uh, for those of you that uh, kind of want to see what this looks like, obviously the front glass, no tint. And then to the side, you can see the 20%, so pretty noticeable difference. And then, of course, the brow at 5. So about what I see. And then with the rain visors installed, you see it gives pretty good, pretty good little gap here that you can roll your windows down. Uh, I would roll the windows down to show you, but I just had the tent installed yesterday. So can't roll the windows down as of yet, but adds another little sun glare spot, you know. So added bonus. Thanks for uh, checking the video out. Uh, leave uh, any comments down in the uh, section below. If you guys have any questions, I'll try to answer whatever I can on it. Um, and like I said, I'll leave links for all the products, uh, down in the description. Uh, make sure you guys, like I said, hit up, uh, importimageracing.com and, uh, those guys out there take a, take good care of you. They'll, uh, they'll make sure you're fixed up and ready to go. Thanks.